Okay, let's look at the question. Block A rests on top of block B on the surface as shown. We have to draw a free body diagram for each body, for each block, and label all forces on the free body diagrams. So when the question says, label all forces, we must use a full name of the forces on our free body diagram. Next, there is a note label the pair of action reaction forces between the two blocks. So a pair of action reaction forces is from Newton's third law of motion. In this case, there's a force acting on A by B and there's a force acting on B by A. We try to sketch this in our diagram, the original diagram. So force on A by B. Now we expect this force on A must be B pushing up on A. So this will be our F1. So this is a force on A by B and it must appear in the free body diagram for A. It shows all forces acting on A. Next, there's a force acting on B by A. So A is on top, so A must be pushing down on B with an equal and opposite force. And that's your F2. This is a force on B by A, so it must appear in the free body diagram for B. So in fact, we can actually draw these two forces already for forces acting on A by B is from the bottom of A, which is in contact with the block B. So this is F1. And similarly, force on B is from the top by A on B. Draw with a pencil, right? And label this accordingly with the symbols given in pen, in ink. And these two arrows should be equal and opposite equal magnitude opposite direction okay next we continue with forces on a the weight always appears directly so draw the weight okay and we have to label it in full weight uh, these are only two forces acting on a so therefore we expect the magnitude of weight to be equal to the magnitude of f1 so when you draw these two arrows draw them with the same length. Now for B, if you look at the diagram, B is also in contact with the surface. So we expect uh, additional forces from the surface. Surface will be ex exerting upward force like this. It's a normal contact force. right? And of course uh, B will have its own weight as well. Okay. Now uh, we draw, okay first we draw the, the weight of B. B is uh, much larger in size so we can draw a longer arrow for the weight to show it has a larger weight. And there's a normal contact force on B by the ground, right? And therefore on by the surface. So this will be upward force. Okay, try to draw the forces all near the center, but slightly apart so that you can see the forces. Use ruler and pencil. Now, because B is at rest and the forces, the net force must be zero, the F2 plus weight should be balanced by this upward force. So the upward force has to be much longer and this is a normal contact force so we label the forces in full and when we draw the length of the arrows we take into account which forces are larger and which forces are smaller for b the upward force normal contact force must balance the downward forces f2 plus the weight and that's it for the free body diagrams.